The bank robberies piled up quickly over the weekend. Police say a woman was responsible for five of them and one attempted robbery from Friday to Saturday all over the Salt Lake Valley. Tonight, the woman, who police say is responsible, is sitting in jail. News specialist Sean Moody is live outside that jail with more on how this investigation played out. Sean? Yeah, police say they'll occasionally get serial bank robbers around here, but this one they say was pretty unusual. They say the woman went from bank to bank pretty rapidly and didn't appear to make any attempt to hide her face. That's part of the reason that police say this investigation moved so quickly. Unified Police Lieutenant Brian Lorkey said this was one of the stranger cases his department has worked. Nothing as blatant as this. I haven't seen anything like this. He said this woman robbed or attempted to rob six banks across the Salt Lake Valley in 24 hours. In each case, he said she handed the teller a note demanding cash. One bank teller, police said, told her no, and she walked out. By Saturday afternoon, these surveillance images were everywhere. By Sunday, a tip led officers to an apartment in Taylorsville. We uh, determined that it was her. She matched the description to a T, um, made the arrest, uh, wrote a search warrant for the apartment in which evidence of the crime was recovered. Police arrested Nanette Perkins for investigation of bank robbery charges. According to a probable cause statement, one of the people in Perkins' apartment told an officer that Perkins had given him $4,200 in cash on Saturday. The officer said that person and another person in her apartment also confirmed that she was the person in the surveillance photos. In those photos, it doesn't appear the woman made any attempt to hide her identity, but it does appear there's a facial mole present that's not in Perkins' booking photo. Looked like she had a, a mole under her right eye, and miraculously that mole somehow disappeared in her mugshot. So I'm not sure what that was or what the intent was or if we were just seeing a, another blemish. I don't know. There were several agencies involved in the investigation. Lorkey said good communication led to a quick arrest. When you decide to rob a bank, you are making a pretty bad investment. The FBI is looking into the bank robberies as well. Unified police said federal charges could follow. In South Salt Lake, Sean Moody, KSL 5 News. Sean, thank you. Tini? Senator Orr